come to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 48, and today we are looking at verse 11. And we have to remind ourselves that this is the people of God worshipping their God in light of a glorious deliverance that he has given them. Mount Zion rejoices, the villagers of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Yes, God has judged Sennacherib. 185,000 enemy soldiers were killed overnight. And uh, the nation was spared. Jerusalem was spared. And uh, the people are worshipping. They are celebrating. They are rejoicing. And the rejoicing starts in Mount Zion. That's the mother city, if you like, Jerusalem. And then it doesn't stop there. The rejoicing is going to extend to all the villagers all across Judah. It starts with the mother city and it extends to every conceivable village as the news began to spread of this wonderful, amazing deliverance that God had given his people. Uh, we read in uh, Revelation 18.20, at the fall of mystic Babylon, it is said, Rejoice over her, you heaven, you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. Yes, there is going to come a day when this mystic Babylon that's going to rule uh, the world uh, and bring so much of uh, agony. Uh, is going to be destroyed, and uh, God's people are again going to rejoice. Now we come to verse 12, and uh, verse 12, uh, we are introduced to God and the future of the people of God, verses 12 to 14. And verse 12 reads, walk about Zion, go around her, and count her towers. So what is happening in verse 12? The inhabitants of the city of Jerusalem are now invited to make a tour of inspection of the defenses which under God's providence have protected them from their foes. Remember, they were scared. They were in hiding. Now they are coming out and they are invited to walk around Jerusalem. And just to check everything out, to see how under God's uh, providence and protection, everything is secure and uh, safe. Make a solemn procession. Go around the city, blessing and praising God with thankful hearts who has uh, preserved you from being defeated by the enemy. Check all the towers as you go along and see if there be so much as one wanting or the least hurt done to any of them. Uh, what an what a invitation this is to go in a procession and to sing God's praises and to observe very carefully that everything is intact. There is not a scratch on the walls. And that's how God had preserved his people. Count her towers. Take uh, the number of the towers. See how numerous these towers are on the walls of Jerusalem. How firm they remain. What a defense and protection they constitute. Cities surrounded by walls had always towers or elevated portions at, as posts of observation or as places from which missiles might be discharged with advantage on those who should attempt to scale the walls. So the people are invited to check out all the uh, towers. We don't know how many there were. And uh, everything was still standing. Everything was intact. And uh, the defense of the city was guaranteed. And the people could now rest in uh, safety, resting in the Lord as to this amazing thing that God has done. So I want to encourage you today to keep your eyes wide open. Keep your eyes wide open to see what God is doing. All the deliverance, the protection, 
and uh, and then that should cause you to celebrate to rejoice and to praise god god bless you have a good day today amen for more videos like this please subscribe to our youtube channel grace gospel english church toronto thank you